Hey y'all. I'm not saying this is the end of my lost journey. But um if you know, you know. Actually wait, this should be for you too. Like, let's just get one good look at my vlogs for one last time, just in case this is really it. Here she is. Let me take a picture so I can remember how I first said look. This side. This might be it for the lost journey, y'all. For the first lost journey. I'm coming back. Period. But y'all, before, well... I can talk to you guys while I'm doing my first vlog. And the reason I say this might be the end of my vlog journey is because I may not decide that this is it for real. I'm just going to comb out one, see how I feel, um, you know, determine if it's something I want to commit to or, you know, let's just circle back to this in a year, you know? So this is kind of like a little trial comb out, right? Okay. So this is how my locks look for real, for real. For the last time before I comb, well, possibly comb them out. Okay, I've got the water warming up in the bathroom, so I just wanted to bring it out here so hopefully I can hear me better. But um, the reason I want to comb my locks out is because, or just end this lock journey and start a new one is because, okay, so look at this lock. This lock is like, it's a nice size. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a nice size, but it's thick for the set of locks, for the rest of the locks that I have. Like, these two are just like really thick compared to the rest of my locks and then you can't tell but they got LL gel y'all you can't fully tell because I have my hair kind of slicked down but in the front um mainly like right here like this one again my hair is gel and you know products that up but like this part right here this is also a thicker lock and the parting is like super funky if you look at it the parting is super funky like the part is this and so because of that like i have a lot of like loose hairs that won't get caught up in the lock and i could do like crochet well i could crochet but i don't have the money to get that done and doing it myself takes a lot of work but also i'm just anyway so that's one thing I know I can crochet, but I don't really want to. Um, I know I can interlock, but I don't think interlocking is going to do what I need it to do for a funky part like this. And I also know that I can only, like, I could just comb out the ones that I'm not happy with and, like, split them or whatever. But I don't want to do that. I want all of my locks to be in the same, like, stage of maturity. Um, so that's why I'm, like, going to comb them out. But then, so, yeah, I have, like, large ones like this. And then I have, like, small ones that kind of concern me. Because um, I want to, like, dial my hair at some point, of course. Like, this one. Well, this is a small one, but it's not that small. But there's a blonde one that's, like, super small. And I'd be like, ooh. Oh, here it is. Here she is. She's, like, pretty small. And so I'm like, I can't. I don't want to keep bleaching, like, this small lock. So, and then... I think because of like the different sizes of my locks, it's going to cause like me a little bit more chaos when it comes to dyeing my entire head. Um, because I think thicker locks probably need more time to process, whereas smaller locks don't need that much time. And so it's just, I think that for me and having peace of mind um, and also in the way that they fall, because sometimes my locks just don't fall how I want them to like fall or how, and they don't look how they want to look. Um, like straight out the shower and stuff like that because of the different sizing and so just to like eliminate all that and to just start fresh that's why I am possibly combing out my locks and I keep saying possibly because who knows how I'm gonna feel after the first one but I'm gonna start in the back of course um I'm trying to decide here I'm gonna leave the back down I'm gonna miss my lock but y'all, I started my locks in a on impulse basically. Like I'm not gonna lie, I started them impulsively, and so it kind of feels like right to end them impulsively. I don't know. Um, 
it's a Friday afternoon and this is the same exact like I also started my locks on a Friday afternoon so it just kind of makes sense so I have this lock which is a newer one and it's kind of thick so it might not be that hard to fix them out and then I have this lock which is four years old so all my, the rest of my locks are basically two years old i would hit two years on september 10th so we're literally like two weeks out from two two years but i don't think we'll make it i don't think we're gonna make it to two years in these locks um so yeah this one has i've had this one for four years though so i don't know if i want to comb it out at all i don't know if i want to keep it I haven't decided i might keep it to be honest just because i had it before so i might keep it so i think i'm gonna comb this one out first just because i know i want to like i know i'm coming out the right well i know at least i'm coming out one and between these two it's gonna be this one because this one i started back in 2019 she had nothing to do with this <laughs> so we're gonna leave her alone in my spray bottle i have hot warm water as hot as the sink can get, that's as hot as water in, in here is. Because apparently it's supposed to help, like, soften the lock and, like, drench the lock to, like, you know, be able to detangle it. And here, of course, I have my Aussie Total Miracle 7-in-1 conditioner. I got a big one because apparently I'm going to need a lot. And then, and the one was $7. So, I was like, that's a good deal, especially since I'm literally just, like, going to wash it all out. And then I got, of course, a comb. I've been had this since before I started my lock. So, oh, one thing I wanted to do was measure my lock. Okay, so I got my tape measure because I was watching somebody's video for combing out their locks. And I just want to see how, like, long my hair is compared to the lock. So, okay, so this is about, my lock is about, it's about eight inches, like, stretched. My lock is about eight inches long. So, let's see how long it is and come out, period. Also, the video that I watched said that it would likely take 15 minutes. Well, she hers took 15 minutes per lock. Um, so, I don't know. But I would like to time it. So, I'm about to time it. So, that way I can kind of know. So, I can kind of know what's cut out for me. Um, but it's also going to be different because all of my locks are different sizes. Um, so, we'll just see. But I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer now that I'm about to start wetting it. And I'm probably gonna stop talking just so that way I can have an accurate time and not slow down because I'm talking. So start. I got like two pumps of conditioner. So we'll see. I cannot believe I'm really doing this. I know I said I'm not going to talk, but I, I, I can't believe I'm really doing this. Possibly. This conditioner does smell good though. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, can y'all even see? Okay, well, it's a little quiet. Maybe I should put on a video or a movie or something. Strawberry on my lips, and you would think it did.
We're five minutes in and I've got this much combed out. <laughs> Please. Um, and we're on one lock, so pray for you, girl. Block number one is combed out. Here she is. Well, here's the hair. Um, it took me, sorry, it took me about, it took me about 22 minutes to comb out one lock. <laughs> Crazy. And I saw something somewhere that said like that the top was the hardest to comb out. And that's so true. Like for the most part, I was just like gliding, gliding, gliding. When I got to that top area, and I think that's the part. I don't know why, but that part, it, it took a while and I had to actually just kind of finger detangle it. But um, can we get into the lane? <laughs> come on, y'all. Come on. Wait, hold on. Let me get that here. Come on. Come on. Talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all. <gasps> My hair has legitimately never been this long. All right, y'all. So it was eight inches um, still in the lock and now outside of the lock it is oh, hold on wow outside of the lock it's at about 12 11 or 12 inches <laughs> bro please stop playing with me please hey y'all so just an update i have combed down four locks so far combed out four locks so far um i'm gonna do Okay, here's how it looks. I'm gonna do these two right now and then I'm probably gonna be done for the day. Um, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. This makes up four locks. Well, this is two and then this is two locks. Um, and yeah, the length is lengthening, okay? So yeah, it's actually not taking that long. Um, this is all of the shed hair from four locks. Um, my comb is, well, sorry, we actually have a little bit more. My comb is, um, on its, it's not on its last leg, but like these teeth being pushed upward, it's not helping me. So I'm gonna, actually, you know what, I might order them combs from Amazon because I'm gonna need at least like five more probably. Um, Sally Beauty has, uh, like 12 for $4. So I think I might, I think I might get those. Um, any other updates? I don't think so. Like, everything is smooth sailing going well. Oh, it took me an hour to do four, so we'll see. We'll see when I finish this, but that's my update. Um, okay, I just had to flex on the length, okay? See you in a second.